Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Abraham here. You can see uh, we have Eureka 2 here. The new Zeus from the uh, company U. Uh, they are not calling it as Zeus anymore, but we can say it as this is a new Zeus from the company. Uh, the oldest use was Eureka, and they they are coming up with a new device. And this might be the first unboxing ever in the YouTube. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. Here you can see Eureka 2 itself. Let's keep the device aside. As you can see, I have opened this and uh, I have removed all the wrappers and all. Yeah, so what's in the boxes? Uh, you get a film ejection tool. In this, you get uh, some warranty papers. And uh, what you get is an user guide. And this, this good stuff. Let's put that there itself. Then, uh, what you get is a charger this is a Qualcomm uh, 3.0 certified charger QC 3.0 certified charger uh, this will detect the device if it is Qualcomm QC supported uh, it will charge at a rate of 2 amps uh, at 9 volt if it is QC 2.0 if it is QC 3.0 it will charge at uh, 2 amps 12 volt or it will charge at 5 volt 1.5 ampere it's not if it's not a qc supported device yeah this is a adapter pretty typical for micromax adapters most of the phones has similar adapters uh, let's keep that aside uh, then you will get a usb cable this is not a type c this is a micro usb as you can see it here it's a micro usb cable uh, two normal USB, USB A. Then uh, you get a uh, bullet headphones. I haven't used this, so I don't know how it sounds. So, yeah, uh, this is a bullet headphone. You get. So what you get is a charger, the phone itself, uh, a USB cable, and a headphone, headphone or earphone, as you see. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into the device. Powering on the device, you will get a uh, Eureka 2 power by Android. Let's move this aside. Yeah. So, uh, when it's booting, um, I will t introduce you to the specs. As you can see, the specs are 4G VoLTE, 4GB RAM, 64GB ROM, expandable at 228GB. Then 60 megapixel rear camera, 8 megapixel front camera, Android Marshmallow inside, and uh, you have a 4000 ish milliampere battery, which is uh, which is capable of keep charging with uh, Qualcomm QC 3.0. Then then uh, then yeah, our fingerprint sensor. Yeah, the main important spec is that it is having 4 GB RAM, so. It will it will go through all the tasks very quickly and it's an octa core processor which uh, which beats at two gigahertz and it's a Snapdragon 625. Uh, it's it's a mid end uh, chipset as I can say uh, mid end SOC or chipset uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get into the device. Here you can see the device. It is complaining that it has no phone or uh, SIM card. I'm going with English. Uh, I will not be inserting a SIM card now. Now it will ask for the Wi-Fi. Let me click on the Wi-Fi. It will ask for the password. Uh, let me enter the password right now. As you can see, I have entered the password and I am connecting to the Wi-Fi. It should hopefully connect. Yeah, so it has connected. The next thing it will ask for is the Google account information. As you can see, I think it is uh, connected to the internet. Yeah, it has loaded. Uh, let me enter the email address and password
I am putting the finger on the fingerprint sensor as you can see it's not like a one plus finger pin uh, which requires so many taps with different edges and all so uh, after that every, every setup is done and the device has been activated now uh, what we get is the screen uh, and as you can see there is a pop-up for uh, setup system update and now we will be installing for the apps nursery so I will be uh, copying that and returning soon after that I will post another video uh, that will be giving all the benchmarks and stuff like that yeah anyway uh, let's uh, dive into the UI as you can see this uh, not at all a stock Android this is actually fully customized by you and uh, developers like me doesn't like these customizations most of the time yeah anyway it's a sleek UI it's, uh, they haven't uh, modified mo more things from Google it's actually uh, uh, resembles more or like a stock Android you have everything typical here uh, if you want to know the all the information you can see here and it will show you the RAM info in the uh, recent apps feature and it's very great but uh, 2.19 GB out of the box is not so good because uh, you know 2 GB uh, you, you can say 0.919 GB is taken by these apps but you know uh, 2 GB uh, it's, it's not that good uh, if, if the phone uses that much uh, because you, you are only left like 2 GB and uh, your apps all should fit under 2 GB that's not great yeah so uh, going into the IO and stuff uh, you have a uh, headphone jack here uh, these days that doesn't matter because uh, most of the phones are removing headphone jacks yeah you have a uh, French speaker here uh, which appears to be metal grill so uh, there is no worries about uh, something falling out of here like uh, if it's a mesh or something like that uh, if it falls out uh, it will be ugly and uh, there is no problem like that uh, the rear uh, shooter is 16 megapixel and it has a uh, focus uh, most of the phones these days has but uh, it doesn't have one option that is OIS uh, yeah anyway this is the dual tone flash uh, as you can see there is two flashes one one is warm and other other is cold color and uh, rear you have two speakers and one micro USB and this is non removable battery and you can see that I haven't uh, removed this label here uh, you have just uh, heard the notification sound on this device and you can see the lock screen now yeah anyway uh, jumping into the settings you have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all and uh, one thing that bothers me is uh, if I have a wireless AC support in this device so I am uh, flying into the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot settings and uh, trying to uh, set up Wi-Fi hotspot and I can uh, select the AP band but uh, you, as you can see there is only 2.4 GHz that, that means uh, you are stuck with uh, uh, wireless uh, BGN so there is no AC support 2.4 GHz is the maximum it will support and uh, it will it will support Volti so uh, if you have a geo sim you can uh, put it in yeah nothing else to say other than that uh, it's a well built phone uh, feels good on hand uh, and uh, it's all metal uh, and uh, I am not generic everything so I can't like scrape away metal but uh, it will it feels uh, good on the uh, hand and it has a good weight to it. Uh, with the 4000 mAh battery, 4000 dish, as I have to say. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this this device feels very good. Uh, one thing that bothers everyone is the camera. So I'll be uh, taking some shots of 
some things here like so I took photo of uh, the charger USB cable as you can see it's pretty good uh, and focus works fine uh, I think it focused on uh, this part and everything before that is not in focus as you can see and uh, yeah uh, for the front camera this is the back button uh, I think you can swap it like one plus that's why there is only two dots there so uh, for the front camera I will be switching camera yeah it's, it looks sharp as you can see but uh, I think that is overexposed and uh, I have a hard time remembering which is back and multitasking button yeah uh, then uh, what we have is uh, yeah, uh, what we have is a 1080p uh, video camera in the back and front we have 1080p resolution and front is 8 megapixel so I am trying to go to we have HDR uh, face detect and so many other things like that we have video quality that is 1080p uh, if I go to the front camera uh, which which I can do in a moment there's beauty mode uh, I will not be trying beauty mode yeah uh, there's video quality 1080p so uh, front camera and all uh, everything is uh, 1080p and yeah uh, that's it uh, for camera uh, other other things you know uh, is same uh, as you expect uh, 2.4 gigahertz so you are limited with uh, a speed of like uh, 50 mbps or so 150 mbps is the theoretical maximum uh, in my experience we will only get 50 mbps yeah anyway uh, that's it for this video and stay tuned for more videos and reviews like this and please subscribe for more videos if you like this video or uh, if you have any uh, or if you have any feedback on this video you can post in the comments and uh, if you like this video you can uh, push that like button uh, if you dislike this video uh, please don't click the dislike button but you, you can say whatever you want you like uh, if I have to improve something like that yeah so uh, you can post that in the comment section below yeah, and thanks for watching.